I don't look stupid. Um, <laughs> first of all, I think that the two situations are completely different, which they are. How does making a sandwich at 2 a.m. equate to a burglar coming in and you expecting the boyfriend to handle it? Um, edit, update, he laughed at my comment saying that it was the dumbest shit uh, I'd ever seen. So I asked him if he believed that video is true, and he said, just thought I'd share. So I think he agrees with the video, but doesn't want to say it now that he knows my reaction. Um, leave? I guess? I don't know what you want me to do here. No. No, Smalls Noodle. That is such an immature, simple solution <laughs> to such <laughs> complex <laughs> problems. <laughs> dinner after 10 hours like it's happened a few times so it's not like you know i'm confused i'm I, i'm in confusion um, i don't know what do you think what do you what do you what do you what are your thoughts on this uh can you tell me the story again <laughs> oh my lord oh All my right, lord on. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh, so this person has been deeply asshole. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I like reading not people who are not the asshole so I can root for them. Yeah. Okay. I know, because one of the things right. too about like when the OP is the asshole is that, like, they're usually the asshole for, like, a distinct reason that, like, the comments are trying to get across, and they're not the asshole for other kinds of reasons that the comments aren't trying to get across. Like, I remember, like, um, we were reading a story forever ago, and it was something like the brother was mad at the sister because the sister was going to throw a wedding, and he thought that the wedding was tacky. And he then went on to describe oh the wedding. God. And I remember thinking that that didn't sound very tacky. And I'm just like... Man, I don't know, like, maybe we should, and like, you know, I know tackiness is subjective or whatever, but like, maybe we should kind of go back to the drawing board over what it means to be tacky and yada yada yada. Or maybe, you know, you could yeah. use a different word or something. Um, but of course, like, you know, the, the big, the big hullabaloo was that he was sort of making any kind of judgment or condemnation at all about, you know, her choice, you know, to have the wedding the way that she wanted. And so people thought, yeah, well, he's an asshole. And I remember the entire time just thinking, like, I was still hung up on the fact I'm like, wait, that wedding doesn't sound tacky, though. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so I know, like, it, it, I, I'm like, oh, no. I'm coming away with, like, the wrong thesis. I'm coming with the wrong point of this issue, you know? They're gonna they're gonna grill me, you know? Yeah, no, um, I remember that one. That was fucking weird. He sounded so uptight. Because he was like, it's not what I would do for a wedding. And it's like, okay, good, you're not getting fucking married. Shut your mouth. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, to go on that and then talk about this other thing I just found. Um, I hate when people are like, this wedding is tacky. This way and it's like, let it be tacky. Oh my god, you're not, you're getting crazy. Shut up. Who cares if it's tacky? Let them regret their wedding later. Leave them alone. You're getting paid. Like, what are you doing? Because instead of you going, well, this wedding is tacky, you're going to be known as the person who said the wedding is tacky, and then you get kicked out. Yeah. It's like, you sometimes keep opinions to yourself. That's all, right. all I say. You know, like, like, like... What the hell is this creature? It looks like something from, like, a, You're gonna see it, it's gonna look, look so strange. It's like a, it's like a weird drum set from Metroid. Oh yeah, Same. no, that, that, that wedding that we read forever ago was so, it was just like so it's like, you're getting free food, you're, you get a night off, you're essentially partying, you're hanging out with people, like, calm your bridges. You're not the one getting married. Yeah. We don't need to run what you think is tacky. 
Um, it just it peeves my nerves. Semantic ever. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. See, okay, I have Quay for us to make stuff from our skills. Um, am I the asshole? And this is sort of this is lukewarm because it's been 23 hours, so it's not as hot off the presses as uh, the other story was. So. Am I the asshole for ruining my roommate's romantic dinner? DJ, what? What's this? What do I have to buy? I, don't know. I have to get a fire gem. Okay. What we, what, why do you need this guy? Hey guys, welcome back to Soda Dungeon. It's me, Ryan. Let's see. Oh, we have Fury X. I can't buy that. That's insanely expensive. She wanted to come look at the fish tank. Oh. Yeah. How do I get to not be so choppy? Do I need get a what? This, um, this game is called Drake Hollow, and it's being a little, you know when you have to lower the resolution down, because, like, the, the mouse and the cursor isn't going at the speed it should be. It just the mouse is going slowly? Yeah, the mouse is going slowly, which means I'm trying to drop the frame. Oh. Um, I've already had this, like... I don't know how, to, how else to make it peace. So I had to do this with Dead by Daylight, and it irritated the hell. Okay, so it's a little better. It's a little less fancy. Oh, oh no. Okay. What? Bro, what? have you been to the r slash lonely subreddit? It's a... Mess. <laughs> you know, but you should tell me. Oh man. So someone it's R slash lonely. One of the more trending statuses is someone said I spent over I've spent over two thousand dollars on this cam girl. I've gotta stop blowing money on this cam girl, but she's all I got. She's so nice to me and she always asks me about my life and how I'm doing. She remembers things I tell her and asks how it went. Just having a cute girl acknowledge me and like me helps me cope with my severely poor mental health. I know she doesn't actually give an F about me and, and that if I were to stop giving her money, she would ignore me. But I ignore all that and pretend it's real anyway because it feels so good in the moment. I'm gonna tell her... I'm, go I'm going to tell her I'm gonna stop seeing her online because it's really bad for me financially. It just sucks because then I will truly have to face the loneliness with nobody to talk to. I don't know how to deal with that in a healthy way. Bro's really got it in his head that he's gonna fucking break up with a cam girl. Are you? No. No way do people think like this. <laughs> like... Opium. Opium. Oh my god. Like, she's... Re he even said he she doesn't care. So why is he like, I'm, I'm gonna tell her, guys. I'm gonna tell her. I say, I can't, Susie, I can't do this anymore. You suck in my wall and die. In my wall, in my wall, in my wall. Yo, yo, yeah. top comment is someone saying, I can do 80% of what she does for $100, man. Spend on me. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Oh my god. I love people. Just meme on them. Just like, just uh, wholesomely meme on them like that. That's funny. You'd be better off just talking to an AI for free. True TBH, anything is better than wasting hard earned money. I told myself I quit for good. I'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Here's here's the thing. Well, like, yeah, I mean, it's complicated, but you'll understand in time. The people who really hate the right wing craze, the, um, the AI craze, tend to be like right wing dudes. You'll understand in time. What? I'll understand. What? What time? What? It's super leftist to have an AI girlfriend. I promise. It's not um, super leftist. <laughs> no. Watch a streamer not, who interacts with their chat. It's free. Consider. Uh, yeah, like you do, right? Watch Cheebs and Lexi. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love Cheebs. Spend, your, spend your money on a therapist, friend. 
I've been thinking about this. Maybe it's time to try it out. I... Here's the deal. Alright, here's, here's the deal. I, um... Here, here's the thing. I, uh... Should I do three... I'm so... The game I'm playing... I'm gonna get so the game I'm playing is called Drake Hollow. Um, and I want to know, should I do classic, creative, competitive, or what the fuck is Iron Man? I'm curious about creative, but in any game you should so try its me... classic first. Uh, a low challenge mode in which you can build to your heart's content. And then classic is the default Drake Hollow experience. Should I do- I feel like I should do classic first, and then do a second recording, uh, like, in December or something.